So you just shot a bunch of footage with your new DAC cam. Now what? In this video, we will show you how to use Windows Movie Maker to edit your footage into a great movie. In the previous video, I showed you my three favorite editing programs. In this video, we'll get into more detail and you'll learn how to actually use the software. The first thing you'll need to do is to get the video files off of the SD card and onto your computer. You can simply plug the camera into your computer and drag the files off of the SD card. Once you have the files ready, you can open Movie Maker and begin to import the files using the Add Video and Photos button. Shorter videos will load quickly, but longer videos may take some time. You'll see the icon here shows that the video is still being processed. Once all of my clips are loaded, I first like to trim my clips to their desired lengths. Trimming is the process of cutting off the parts of the clips that you don't want and keeping only the segments you like. For example, take a look at this video that I'm working on now. I really like the first four seconds of the clip, but I'm not interested in the rest of the footage. No problem. I'll just find the trim tool, mark the portion of the video I want, and then save the trim. The rest of the footage in the segment will be discarded, and only the desired video that I marked off will play in my final project. After trimming my clips, I like to go back and decide which themes, transitions, and effects I want to use. Movie Maker has a few pre-installed themes that you can choose from. Each theme will add transitions, such as a fade, in between the clips, as well as an opening title screen and end credits. If you don't want to use a theme, you can add transitions and titles yourself. To add transitions, or animations as Movie Maker calls them, you can go to the Animations tab and select the clip you want to add the transition to. Hovering over the animation box with your mouse will allow you to preview the transition. Select the transition you want to use and it will be added to your video. You can also add visual effects, which are basically just filters. These are a lot of fun to play around with, but for a serious video, I usually don't use them. There's also a really cool video stabilization feature, which will help smooth out some of your shaky footage. The speed drop down menu here allows you to easily add slow motion to any clip. Once you've finished editing, you can export your new movie by going to File, Save Movie. There are a few different options for how to save your movie. Which one you choose depends on what you want to do with your finished product. I usually like to save mine in YouTube format, because that's where I like to upload most of my videos. You can also choose to save it for a mobile device or for an email. Windows Movie Maker is a great program that makes editing your videos extremely easy, but it's not your only option. Check out our entire series where I show you how to use GoPro Studio and Apple's iMovie.